Hey folks and welcome to Car Stars' 10 Wild Facts About Dom's 70 Charger in the 2001 film The Fast and the Furious. Fact number one. There were four different modified Dodge Chargers used throughout the film. Some were originally 1970 models and some were converted into 1970 models from 1969 Chargers. Two Chargers were used for close-up and actor-driven shots. The other two Chargers were used as stunt cars. Fact number two. Believe it or not, all the chargers used had factory automatic transmissions, so all the shifters as well as the shifting actions that you see in the movie were non-functional and just for show. Fact number three. All chargers had custom aftermarket wheels fitted, which were American Racing Model 200S, aka the Daisy Wheels, mainly chosen because they were a very popular model of aftermarket wheel for classic muscle cars in general. If you Google this, you'll most likely find many results suggesting that they were Krager brand wheels, but that is incorrect as they are actually American Racing brand wheels. Fact number four. The Chargers had their interior stripped out with added aluminum door panels for weight reduction and a full roll cage installed for extra structural integrity as well as to mimic real drag racing car aesthetics. Fact number five. None of the Chargers actually used the supercharged 392 Hemi engine that you see in the Charger in Dom's garage. The Chargers actually just used their standard factory 383 or 440 engines with fabricated prop non-functional supercharger blowers. Fact number six. All of the Chargers engine sounds used in the movie were recorded from a naturally aspirated Hemi and then dubbed in after. This is quite noticeable to us car guys as there's never actually any supercharger whining sounds heard throughout the entire movie. Fact number seven. The launch wheelie that the Charger pulled for the finale drag racing scene was indeed faked as they used nitrogen filled tanks to push down a wheelie bar under the car to lift it up with added smoke effects to cover it up. Fact number eight. Although most of the Chargers were restored after filming ended, the number two stunt 1970 Charger that was used in the crash into the semi scene was left unrestored and was sold off at a Mecham Auto auction in 2015. Fact number nine. The Stunt 70 Charger that was used for the power slide into the motorcycle scene is still owned by Universal Studios today and is still being used as a promotional vehicle for the franchise. Fact number 10. At least one of the two main screen used Chargers is still known to exist today also and resides in the Volo Auto Museum in Volo, Illinois. Well, there you have it folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.